So I've wanted to talk about the bug man for a while now because we have so many different terms for so many different variants on the swipple. But the bug man is one I find myself very sympathetic towards because it's one that we can all easily fall into the trap of becoming one. And why I find him so sympathetic is I'll see a bug man derail gaming forums, weeb forums in general, talking about their little political hijacks, talking about Mar and Hitler, and I noticed something about all of their lifestyles. They all work 60 to 70 hour jobs where they could be working 30 to 40 hours of that and they ain't getting paid shit. They're living paycheck to paycheck. Pretty much. In a closet. Living in a closet. And the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I do find that very sympathetic. I think that's messed up. When I hear them speak about politics, like I've been in this game since 2011, but when I was 17 18, they used to really speak about the $15 minimum wage a lot. Whereas now, the big talking point since 2015 has been UBIs and universal basic income. And you're going to be hearing a lot of that from the Zuck. And I'm going to be talking shit about Zuck next video. Next, this type of video. But I wanted to talk about that because their set of Gibbs is very different from the set of Gibbs we would normally get from the Dalit. For those of us who were once right libertarians, we know what Dalits have as Gibbs. You know, hood rat Gibbs. They want an extended safety net for life, pretty much. So they can have millions of kids. Whereas the Dalit, in some ways is better because this person is willing to work. But in some ways it's worse because they're on the other end of the spectrum. They're willing, too willing to work. And all their gibs are outfitted so that they can continue to kill themselves being slaves, since these are millennials, to the boomers who are currently enslaving them. And they can keep that lifestyle and they can keep making ends meet. They just want to make ends meet at this point. They're not even thinking about emancipating themselves. That is a fantasy of theirs. Bernie Sanders who a lot of these bug men love, he is not the voice of emancipating oneself from the bug man lifestyle. He is the voice of living that lifestyle and surviving it. And you see that with UBIs, you see that with their ideas on healthcare reform. Well, healthcare is going to be more of an O-O-T-O-O-D, like Netflix. The service is going to be like Netflix, like already we see that with the ACA, but... It's so many of these services that they want for health care and health insurance, most importantly. They want this, and ultimately what I really know that they want is they want that 30 to 40 hour work week. Because they all work 30 hours, from what I've listened to they've said, more than they should. If I'm speaking of Bugman A and he's working 60 hours, he should be working 30 hours. And if he's working 70 hours, he should be working 40. If he's working 50, that should be a part-time job. That should be 20. And I think that's messed up. Because some of these guys are perpetual interns. They've been guilt-tripped not just to going to grad school. Not just going to college, but also grad school. There are ways that you can go to college. And five years later, 
emancipate yourself from that slavery, debt slavery. There are ways you can do that, but there aren't ways of escaping the bug man lifestyle systemically from the inside out. You would have to break out on your own independently. And the internet is a good way of doing that, but, you know, that bugman life, like, that's the life of a salmon, and it sucks. And that's why I'm very sympathetic towards them. And even just the fact that they work too much and have crappy social lives, like, their bugman friends are just dorks make weird faces all the time. We've seen new males take pics before. But even more so than that, is being a slave to an older generation that will never try to sympathize, sympathize your problems. They won't. Ask a boomer. They're gonna keep talking shit about you because if you do not invest in what they want you to invest in, you don't live like them. You don't even have the same childhood as them. When I see a lot of fictional stories from nowadays, they sound more like the lives of boomers. You know, kids getting into fights, doing hard drugs, skipping school. That's not the life of these bug men. That's not the life of us millennials. Like, I've done some delinquent shit in my day. But most of it is petty compared to your grandpa or your dad if your dad is someone who had kids late or you're the youngest child. But that's all I wanted to say. I'm very sympathetic towards the bug man. More so than other variants of the swivel. Especially ones whose lifestyles are closer to mine. And this has been your boy, Mr. Walker 7. Suck my dick.